G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. If fly fishing is something you want to get into, you want to do a course with us. We'll take you up to the new G and we'll teach you how to catch trout. $99, get in touch with us and we'll teach you how to be a superstar fly fisher. Yep. This is the uh, the Swampy Plains River, just off the um, the Great Alpine Way, uh, and as you'll, you'll as you'll you'll see pretty soon, it's an outstandingly clear river. This is um, every bit as clear as a New Zealand river, and you've got some of these dark coloured rocks. It's it's yeah, without you know, just so beautiful. Um, there's a couple of fish that we'll, we'll get. They'll be generally browns. You probably get some rainbows as well from you know a pound to two pound with the odd big one through it, but. Uh, we're hoping it's about four o'clock um, that we might start to see a few insects and that as well and a few on the dry but uh, to fish in a place like this is just amazing so uh, really looking forward to seeing what the Swampy Plains River just below where the Gihai flows into it what it can do on a day like this. Just seen one, actually just a couple, right in front of him now, and that was enough to spook him. The water we're going to find, I think, is so clear, and they are a little bit spooky. He's a good sized fish, he's, well, good couple of pound. But in these long glides, it's sometimes it's uh, they know everything that's going on. We we they, yeah, they'll know when the, when the fly hits the water that's something's not quite right, and uh, and they'll react accordingly. So it's probably going to need a little bit more stealth, and uh, we might look at longer leaders and things like that. You just got to alter it up until you find a formula that's going to work. There's a little one underneath it, and he's gonna. Hmm. That was a little one just ducking away, and that was even with the fly in the air. So um, we're at an area now which is like a little camping area, so it may well have a little bit of uh, traffic at time so they'll be a little bit spooky. I'll just have to fish better to catch them. Great little run there, like I just, it just looks too fishy to have uh, not pulled out any fish. And I think that's when you, you, you're, you know you're on a good river, when you're expecting, I mean we're blind fishing, but we're fishing where we think the fish are going to be, but you're expecting to get a, like, a strike every cast. What you can also do when there's quite a few different currents, and as you can imagine that's pulling and dragging the fly, so what you can do is cast and lift your rod a little bit high, that just keeps that fly line out of the current and just allows the leader and that fly to drift a little bit more naturally. 
just for a period anyway. So uh, just try different things. And once the fish keep eating, then stick with that one. Good. Now the setup we're using, we've got a uh, grasshopper pattern um, in about a size 12 there. And we've got a couple of feet uh, because it's not overly deep in most of the bits, just down to a little gold bead with a flashback on there. So uh, this will act as our indicator. I'm hoping that they'd actually be eating this, but if not, they'll take the nymph and drag that under, hook them and away we go. So uh, it's, hopefully this will work. There we go. We've, uh, <laughs> there's only a little one. And I wasn't even paying attention. I'd almost just stepped in uh, a bit deeper than what it looks. But it was over in that bubble line where I'd been uh, casting and I was just expecting a fish to be and uh, nothing showed up. And then this one's just grabbed hold of that nymph. But this is just a stunning fishery. It's, um, it's silly that I haven't fished it ever before. It's, Everywhere you look around, it's just stunning Australian scenery. You've got the, the magnificent mountains, your Kosciuszko just over the road, and you've got this crystal clear water that's full of fish. And you go, oh, it's not a bad way to uh, spend a bit of time. I'll just grab him. We might not even need the uh, net from this little one. But just a lovely little rainbow. we we'll just slow him up there. And just silver as anything. And I guess just been in this clear water. They don't get that dark coloration that some of the other ones get. Beautiful, but he just loved that little gold bead nymph. I'll get that out and we'll get him back in. It is beautiful, but he's good to go. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, that was the uh, the first one out of the swampy plains and uh, pretty chuffed actually. I really love this river and just looking up ahead lovely boulders it's just it's an iconic australian stream and um yeah i'm gonna fish this a lot more often <laughs>